Hey, big up, big up, big up, big up, people. Of course, learn less you could listen my social Friday. And of course, we got to make it the best for you. Could you tell me before census? But of course, to Nasamanga, each and every song. Kaiko na producer kwa fiti, trust him, it and make it through. But lazima, of course, kuna content. Siku tandika vitu kwa zaako hapo hivyo. So this morning, I'm joined by two producers. They are one of the, as you know, it's one of the best. Tuko na wawo saa hizi. Wadze kwanza ni tuwanzi na my introductions are DJ Mania. DJ Maki. Karibu sana. How does it feel being at Y254? Cool. First time? First time kwa Y254, yeah. No wando kwa like first time at Y254? Cool. Relax to Angu, eh? Take it, take it. Ah, Santi, Santi, Santi. Kunele, pula! Eh? Bada, kidogo. Fiti, fiti, karibu sana. So, tunaye hapo, ABH, producer mwenyewe. Yes, mambo vipe. Salama sana, karibu. Santi sana. Aha, umetoke mta mgeni uo? Gong Road. So, just here, hapa tu? Around tu, within. Ah, fiti, fiti, iko sawa. So, utakatu street kiasi? Eh. Because of the camera na, so, iko sawa. Unawata na tumekatu hivi, yaani, ya. But producer na kangatu, stingo yao, tu ya hivi. Sino wa mpako wana? Ana, check me to me. Sino wana? Eh? Karibu sana King Fizi. Yeah, ni aje, bro. Siyama man. Niko fiti, sana. Yeah. Rolling it. Bibaya sana. Ni aje kumeenda? Ah, ni hivo tu. Ni kufocus. Ni hivo tu. Ni hivo tu. Aim in high. Adi. No wonder ziko nini? We aim in high. We're not falling. Then I fall now. No, no way. When you say you want to reggae, what do you mean? Reggae, you want to kill him, say by the way. Ah, ni root. But you know, ni ile because you want to kind of like. Ah no, miss miss him, Ras. Ah, ni ivo tu. Well, ni ivo tu. Ni ivo. Okay, karibu ni sana. It's nice to have you here, including of course DJ Maki, my key. And of course, you want to cut too DJ is cut too. He will not be able to cut too much. Focus. Jini ni ni kuna kuanga chini yamaji. Was ina washa. So this weekend as kiamna lala home. Hey manzi. Akuna malim naenda. Akuna. Kamshande kama fungiwa iwa iwa. Na bidi tunakauka. Uluko me li pa rent. Badu. Sasa bi. Na bidi fungiwa house bi intai kwa kwa watch. Today we talk about life after this. Anyway, welcome so much to ABH. So to answer to answer kito. So what is the meaning of ABH? The production house amani ni. Oh, ABH is is initials for. Uh, I've been like I started producing like mm -hmm. I started producing while I was like still in high school like from back then so I told myself that any track Nikiguza will always be it will always be another brio hit uh -huh. so that's where the initials come from so ABH stands for another brio hit so basically another brio hit yeah, well, anything, not, anything I release let me go to hit it has to be a proper jam let me on air lazma lazma so jina ko ni gani Brian Mundi, eh, you know that we can kill a man. You know the streets, you know the lab, you know the Twitter, manini. Eh, you know the personal, like any bad for my pages. We're back to ABH. Oh, you know the bad for ABH. So how old is ABH? I am 31 years old. Wow. So you know the bad for back in the days. Eh, eh. Uko my interiors, nini, nini, nini. Eh, kitambo sana. Yeah. So you know the two cool videos I got to amo you know the other. Eh, music to. Stumbled in instruments, especially in church. Mm -hmm. Started playing my music in church. Uh -huh. So, which is a keyboard keys for car, maybe 16 years. Uh -huh. uh, so, it's something that I'm uh, gonna for a minute. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, yes, Production uh, yako? Uh, stream music. Uh -huh. Stream music, Kenya. You've been working for how long? Mm, I've been operating uh, for since, since 2016. Mm -hmm. But ni mekuwa ni kitumia jina like kuanza ku establish studio ikuwe na vifa kuanza cooperate physically 2016. But I've been using the name since 2012. Yeah. Is it a person or owner? Mamu kona mako owners kada apa ivo? Ah, iko na watu, iko na watu ndani. Mko, it's it's not by yourself. Ah, no, mko tuanga anga pivi. Tuko watu kama kama watatu ivi. Kwa tatu ivi. Ebi yetu kona tuanga anga pivi. Kutu, uh, the majorly it ko kuna run wasa wawili kwa uh -huh. sabu tukona video production department mm -hmm. and ko run by a DJ and ito magnam the DJ uh -huh. uh, then uh, yes be, uh, then still contract was say depending on the kind of projects that we do we work okay. and you know give work to a lot of youth up even just so yeah so let, 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 let me let's get this clear so I'm saying I come na ngoma flani apo ivo probably King Fizi I'm saying I come na ngoma flani apo lakini we kapuruzi na feel by the EQ to bado ija unga Una feeling you come Unajua maana ya producer, producer is a creative, right? 
like uh, kuna point nafika hadi unafikiria msanii you help an artist think so na mshauri na mshow way to go and stuff cuz actually most of the songs i know he knows like uh, most of the songs that you na skia ziko nje zina bangs na hit hata idea mingi zinatoka kwa ma producer hata uandishi ingine mm -hmm. ma producer uchangia sana like 50% so so siku kuja tu nakutandika lazima tu tuko tunaangalia bado tuna filter kitu definitely uh -huh. hata kuna maneno ingine uh -huh aitokagi kwa wasani yani msani mwenyewe yani you must have like a third head or second head to think lyrics <laughs> lyric wise yeah mm. cuz lyrics pia unajua kuna kichungi kwa studio mna nini mna zuwei i'm like oh you like no bro usiweke hiyo neno weka hii na hii na hii so ushauri too much sorry too much work in the studio goes on so tukuje kwa abh uh -huh. specifically for janga ngoma stingo gani me siko limited mm -hmm. to any style of music may produce anything kwa mm -hmm. sababu from my experience nimework sana sana pia mpaka na corporates and stuff mm -hmm. commercials and all that stuff when it comes to that world for instance ni lazima uko at a position to execute whatever comes into ah, your awesome, space awesome. so being versatile mm -hmm. is a strength that niko nayo na eh, i'm not limited to anything just bring anything we will do it how many people or companies or rather who have you worked with so far Wow, when you start looking at the artists that I've worked with, um, mm -hmm. I had the privilege of uh, being featured in Saudi Soul's album Live and Die in Africa mm -hmm. on tracks like uh, Nere and Shake Your Bam Bam. I've produced tracks for Tanasha, Donna, the track radio that's a big banger right now. I've been co producing and mixing and mastering tracks for Cancel, a new position by Ethic. Uh, hey. Ochunglo family na iwake remix Ochunglo list <laughs> no, no, as in kwa like hey list hey, mazee juko sa so eh. you said ab uh, above all of all the zenye mekuwa kinini uki uki produce mm -hmm. which one was the best for you really hit kwa feel by the e e many ways Hizo tracks zote zenye nimeguza fortunately zimekuwa na potential ya ku have at least a million views and over mm -hmm. lakini of them all mostly I'll have to come back to the ones that have personally produced like from A to Z mm -hmm. uh, track ya Tanasha has been doing really well and is still a banger actually she's been nominated from some continental awards as a new artist so mm -hmm. I think yeah, ni accomplishment fit ku yeah ku that's so a, that's a good job. Form bado iko mm, fit. Eh bado bado ni track poa. King Vision uh -huh. eh, we have a lot more pia bado in studio coming. Still so much is coming up. Uh, King Vision uh, ni 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 wakina nani by, by now umewak na wao. I've worked with uh, Tunji, Not to Flow, Kids, Rankada. Mhm. Ata kuna talk to Kalist pia. Ah ah wao tu. Ni jamii kile ya pia mimi hii iko sawa. Mm song ambayo nilifanya watu waka wakapenda mm -hmm. sana ilikuwa shekeshera ya kidis mm -hmm. na rankada nilifanyia rankada na reda capella mm -hmm. yeah so for you this ilikuwa hit of the time zilikuwa fiti mm -hmm. na bado zinasikizwa zinachezwa vizuri sana okay so cap my producers can let him send a feel like why like, they need to release a song how may feel even how ku release ngoma hmm. may feel unaweza release ngoma tu kadha as in I'm not going to get to production zako personally zangu mm -hmm. me personally actually me ni msani when okay uh -huh. yeah. i have about four albums under my feet so you say you release uh -huh. uh, na bado na record bono record yeah. because nonga na na abh kanambia ah manze jo lakini but niko iko jikoni ulisha maya kwa jikoni eh tena na projects fit fit sana zina kam the coming soon can coming really soon eh to probability pe time ya at least uh, okay actually mm -hmm. later today uh, kuna something that i'm releasing on my youtube page leo. abh sound yeah, leo uh -huh. it's a project nyenye nilikuwa tumefanya na it was a, a competition actually mm -hmm. ilikuwa ni 7 day film festival sponsored by the kenya film commission na tulikuwa tumeshinda uh, on categories that are the best music video and the best scripted video mm -hmm. so tuna upload leo on our youtube page so that's a jam itakuwa ni abh featuring one of the best vocalists and ito brandon from mm -hmm. afric lafric yeah that one will be out today so apart from kufanya uh, projects nafanya na, nafanya releases mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. zenye na feature some artists as vocalists lakini pia niko na projects zangu pia zenye zinakuja so kuna personal zenye feel by the way these things lazima ito kitu ime release kama ni mbaya ni mbaya yes, and that, that's one thing tunaangalia sana kwa producer mm -hmm. tuko hapa na nyinyi <laughs> ndokonga like ah yeah. acha tukalie tu hapa to produce yao say song alafu kiangalia sauti ya mzee ai 
Una like unzi tunaweza kufanya collab na yeye. Umefeel hivyo? Kwa nini kufanya collab na msi flani? Uh, unajua the moment that you produce ya msani mm -hmm. definitely hiyo ni collab. As in like mwana naye on kwa voice ni nini? Hakuna hakuna haja, hakuna gaja ya kuweka vocals. Hata wengine wao uitisha. Ukwambia ah wewe nipigie chorus. Naomba hapana weka kwa track yako bana. Hata ABS na kubelea na wewe. Umeka tanga yani si si kukata inategemea unajua it's, it's business. Kama tume agree yeah. what are you here for? Are you here for me to record for your track? Are you here for a collaboration? So ni details za biashara. You don't just decide or do something like that. So inategemea mali manzia. Kama mamuani if it's a collaboration that mm. you're coming then we have to sit down and work on that. If you're coming for your track then my work is to help you make sure that you have a dope record from kutoka kwa Terms and conditions. Lazima ziko tu. Siku kuja tu na kutandika kitu kwa zako. Siku dandia dandia tu. Usikuje kujikulia tu like eh ni hivyo tu. Wacha tu ngena DJ Maki. For how long you been in this stream man? Mm this is my fourth year. Mhm. Mm yeah. How far, how, how, how far have you gone? You may feel the industry. Simba, yeah. Kopo. You know, like, Halifa, Ali Kwamulia Leo, Naka Kwame, Kikanyanga, you on set, Uskuna Mabomingi. Kuna Kwanga Ivo. 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 Eh, Ati, <laughs> my DJ by the time five minutes in Aisha. Eh? Iyo 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 clip ya family kwa kuelezea yeye ni nani namba ya simu but si mimi naongea ni drop Gmail ati ni drops zinaongea si mimi naongea zi kuna watu wengi ongea kwanza wengi sana hadi na kata kata ngoma ria ria depend unajua kuna kuna situations inabidi unaongea mm -hmm. lakini zingine inabidi unatulia wewe ndio ule mzee wa tena utanikia ngoma nifunge kiosk nikajibambe Mombasa hapana bidi 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 uko na opportunity wa producer hapa <laughs> Tuseme mama umepona mse ngomo ukafile nyewe, ni sawa tu nataka ni kuchezea lakini hi-fi. Ukiangalia mse mnye li produce, kuna ile sense una feelingi like, but then produce alifanya nini? No, yeah, yeah. But actually kuna, na kuna na issue na producers kiasi, nataka na iza taka nijibu. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, pia mi msani, mm -hmm. Ah. Nilifanya ngoma moja yangu. <laughs> <laughs> so kuna shida hapa. <laughs> Nifanya ngoma moja yangu, mm -hmm. kwa station moja sita 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 isema lakini so nikaiacha hapo mimi siko najua story na MCSK that time it was the, uh -huh. like after high school so vile nilienda home after kitu two weeks mimi uh -huh. na checking ngoma yangu kwa tv actually msi alinipigia <laughs> msikiza ngoma yako kwa tv na msi mwingine so the same words the same beat tulikuwa tume produce na yeye the same words same beat saving yangu yote ya high school ni kwa nimeweka hapo chill kwanza si elewi si elewi as in like uli andika ngoma ukapeleka producer Nikaifani kai nikaipata na kai produce. Ah, aha. So sikuwa na dio story na MCSK na nini. <laughs> so vile nilienda home mimi nilichukua tu ngoma yangu na nikaenda home. Uh -huh. Sikuwa na dio story kuna kuanga na story zingine. Registration na nini? Eh. So after kitu two weeks nasikia the same song. Na actually ni dupo. The same song same remix lakini kwa mtu mwingine. Ni wewe ulikuwa naimba ama Ya ali act kama kwa video kama wewe. Song ilikuwa ni yake. Song ilikuwa ni yangu. Ali redo vocals. Ali redo vocals na kitu. Okay. So mbona inakwanga hiyo? Like ni willing temptation ama ni nini sijui. Ni do ama ni nini? Be be honest. Ni do ama ni nini? Aikwangi hivyo mwenye alikufanya hivyo pole sana for situation yako sana. Na na ni kitu inafanyikiaga and 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 see see it's not just at yeye peke yake. Ni kitu inafanyikia artists wengi wenye wanaanza. Unapata you 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 really want to do it lakini number one you don't even uelewi the process and procedure of doing it. Unajua just understanding it. So even before mtu akuje studio unafaa kwa by the time uko studio mnafaa kwa mmefanya paperwork onelewa so at least maybe by that time where, <laughs> where it's, it's about the music <laughs> yeah. Yeah. by now by the time we're in your studio even before you guys get to recording lazima watu wafanye ni mfanye paper wa kenyu vizuri ngoma ni yangu rights zangu ni hizi huyu mwingine mm -hmm. rights zake ni hizi kama ni as in any contribution yenye mtu amefanya kwa ngoma all those things are things that are supposed to happen na mume document on a split sheet before wimbo itoke the studio so naona so yeah. probably ni the producer kona makosa yake kama yeye si common of other producers that's not how the business mm -hmm. works yeah. lakini pia ignorance on your part si kwa najua eh, exactly 
na unajua kwa kwa karao utaisema eh yeah, so yeah. ni poa ujue yeah. that by the time you're in the studio you have your paperwork right everything right such that by the time you're going home you don't anything then you really don't need to talk you just need to bring out your documents and there's always a due process yeah ku you know ku retract the music ama ku do whatever that needs to happen but i fight kufanyika kwa hivyo maki hukusanywa ni venye tu ulikuwa hauna information na producer akaona akona information kukuliko ndio hiyo opportunity grab opportunity but ata to add on naweza sema anaweza kuwa ali produce ngoma ali produce wa ngoma akaacha akakuwa reluctant about the project in a happen right that like a uh, unapata producer mimi nimefanya ngoma nimefanya msanii ngoma let's say tulifanya uh, 2017 na hii ngoma ilikuwa kali kwangu kwa mawazo yangu nafikiria hii ngoma can make it mm-hmm. big unaelewa mm-hmm. lakini huyu msanii alienda akapotea unajua na idea wapa. ilikuwa kali unaelewa mm-hmm. labda sometimes unapata hata msanii uwezo kam reach out unaelewa so mm-hmm. okay there's some temptations unapata producer umepata labda msanii wewe mwenyewe naamini una you like hey man say si kuna idea fulani hapa kijana fulani aliacha hapa si tu chape hivi na hivi na hii ah. na hivi unaelewa mm-hmm. okay me i'm trying to justify yani mm-hmm. hii kitu utokea unaelewa mm-hmm. like you know in in a, in a happen maybe unaweza call mu agree ama sometimes unaweza kuwa unreachable ama uliacha mziki it was just two weeks Two weeks. Uh, two, two weeks, nine, bas, nine. Bas, yo, it was unfair. Mm-hmm. But, uh, so, uh, because I want us to shift gears kidogo, mm. you say the term afrobeat mm-hmm. ni basically any music that has uh, afrocentric uh, inspiration as All in right. Africa as in ukisikia the music in itself as long as it has African inspiration in terms of rhythm na mambo kama hayo mm-hmm. that 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 would be afrobeat any beat that has the, an african soul to it is afrobeat so for you uh, so for you to say like ni venye tuna feeling kaka ile kanini kama ka south africa ka cotton true beats too to una katu african con, con, concept na hiyo na nini so that's the afrobeat according to you in india to evo it would be safe to say so eh, as in wimbo ikiwa na african elements mm-hmm. in it from the rhythm from the way eh, arrangements zimefanyika na mambo kama hayo mm-hmm. eh, inasaidia ku ina, inasaidia ku define into as an afrobeat how about you kimfu afrobeat uh-huh. vile amesema i agree because afro the word itself afro is mm-hmm. africa you know african beat african beat mm-hmm. you understand mm-hmm. Yeah anything that comes with our elements ni afro to So kama producer mnafika mna ile place una feel like hii song nimeifanya lakini haina beat haina somehow african context Eh uh-huh. no, okay. okay. no, okay. explain here Okay uh-huh. ni eh, tunajua how big afro beat is right uh-huh. now So uh makosa sometimes that we do as producers mm-hmm. is when a client comes or you're making music you mm-hmm. you 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 really don't look at the timing unajua muziki na fashion is one and the same thing mm-hmm. so you have to be very you know know what's happening at that point in time such that when i'm producing music najua this is the kind of sound that is going to you know move and move quickly mm-hmm. then na make sure you gonna yeah those elements so for you lazima tu when you bado you gonna to points kadha points kadha za afrika nini nini most of the time itakuja naturally because i'm african in nature lazima <laughs> tuto kile zetu from within it comes from within mm-hmm. it just comes from within where well, may feel by the way msema mm-hmm. kwamba ya hataki anything to do with african ni thing thing na nini hataka tuikwe tu venye wanaangalenga international levels but always jizuia unajua because trust me unaona ukifanya an african producer tukifanya dancehall sisi unajua mtu msanii anakuja like unaona hizi ngoma mingi mm-hmm. hapa Kenya mm-hmm. they are called dancehall wasanii wengi wanaona wanaimba dancehall ba kuna dancehall hapo unajua because mm-hmm. most elements wanawekaga african elements then i make afro beat unaelewa mm-hmm. ukiendea okay, ma producer ama engineers from jamaica mm-hmm. jamaica watachuja uh-huh. watakwambia hii beat hakuna aifiki dancehall hii ama ni uongo bro mm-hmm. eh nivo so what's an, what's an uliza to iswali let's come back to kenya kuna ile concept na feeling wa kenya nataka kubora sana from the outside yeah uh-huh. from the outside yani wasio nataka kuimba like mm-hmm. anything from international level when ile to kenya so international level mm-hmm. okay uh, local artists have a problem of uh, kuemulate 
uh-huh. unaelewa alafu wanapendaga kitu ime hit kitu ime make mm-hmm. ku sample unaelewa mm-hmm. like sai like hii ngoma ya unaona kama brown skin track ya brown skin mm-hmm. who is kid beyonce and stuff mm-hmm. unapata msanii anakuja studio anakuambia sasa nataka kama hiyo wow. but, uh, but a month ago mm-hmm. they had no idea unajua Mm-hmm. Okay. so wanataka ile kitu ime pop out unajua mm-hmm. they like let's roll with this ah oh, fit 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 thanks so much guys for making it na kwanza kwa ngelea comments kadhaa za nyosomo kwa kutumia kuna salim dollar boy hapo hivyo unasema matiangi ba siji ni gani yo haya let's come to jd brayo hi why in the morning dj from M- jd from m brother matiangi ambiwe 5 ni jioni 10 ndio usiku so in other words tunabambika mbaya sana huko ndani thanks so very much for keeping it of course interacting with us keep posting your comments we'll be looking at them of course even at tukimalizia kuna rofi rofi pia tukimaliza hapo hivyo anasema si si bibi ni mwenye <laughs> si bibi ni mwenye bwana na watoto i don't know how many people saw that saw that clips ji how many people mliona nyinyi me yeah, so it was like ah fit you poor but anyway val is coming up next more guest keep it y254 my name is karanja alex